Hey, what's up? It's Reed here, and today we're gonna to be talking about smart light switches versus smart light bulbs. And whether you're just getting started or you already have a few smart lights, this video will hopefully point you in the right direction to add more smart lights to your house. So I've been using both for a few years now, so I know the good and the bad of each one. And if you asked a seasoned person in the home automation space, they would say, use smart bulbs for lamps and for everything else, use smart light switches. And that would mostly be correct, but there's some reasons why you might wanna choose smart bulbs over smart switches. One of them being, say someone goes to your front door and you have a camera there, you can have it trigger your smart bulb to flash a certain color so you know someone's there. So let's take a look at some different rooms and scenarios to see what is the best choice. So the first place we're gonna look is the kitchen. And the kitchen usually has a lot of light bulbs, so a smart light switch will be a great option because it's gonna be a lot less expensive. Smart light switch might be about the same price or even less than a smart light bulb. So if you have a lot of bulbs, that could add up really quickly. And if you wanna add a little bit of color to your kitchen, it might make more sense to just put some light strips on your cabinets. And light switches, they're pretty easy to install. I used to be really intimidated because I'm not very handy, but after I've done a few, it's really not too bad. All you have to do is make sure you turn off the power, and that might be the hardest part of the whole process because knowing which circuit breaker to turn off for the light switch, you would think that switching out the kitchen light switch, you would turn off kitchen, but instead I had to guess and turn off almost every single one. This is a GE Z-Wave Plus paddle dimmer switch, which I picked up recently on Black Friday, and it does need a neutral wire to power it. Most homes will have these. It's just a little bunch of white wires in the light switch box. But if your house doesn't have neutral wires, you can use the Lutron Cassetta, which doesn't need neutral wires, which is also a good light switch. Next is an office or bedroom. And I really don't like overhead ceiling lights. I feel like they're harsh and they make me feel a little uncomfortable. So I wouldn't want to automate that ceiling light with a smart switch. Instead, I'd rather use smart bulbs in a lamp like LifeX or Hue. And in my office, I have smart light bulbs. And look at the difference it makes compared to the fan light. I like changing the colors of the white to be more of a bluish white. Makes me have a lot more energy compared to a warmer white. And of course, I can change the color to change things up a bit. Sure, smart bulbs are gonna cost more than a smart light switch, but if you spend a lot of time in a room like I do in my office, then it might make more sense to have smart bulbs in there so you can dial it in just the way you want it. For other places around your house, like your outdoor lights, I prefer smart switches because you might have multiple porch lights. So adding a smart light switch to automate that is really easy. For a family room, I prefer smart light bulbs and smart light strips. It's a lot more fun to change the colors and you might have seen some of the things we've done in previous videos. Of course, you can automate smart light bulbs or switches by having them automatically turn on or off, controlling them with your phone or your voice. For the last thought, I wanted to talk about convenience because this is a really big factor. So if you have smart bulbs and you have guests over or a babysitter, they may not know how to turn the lights on and off. Like you could write out a huge paragraph for the babysitter on you know, what tablet to use or what voice commands, but I prefer not to do that. With smart light switches, it's really easy because you use the switch just like a normal light switch. There are some accessories for smart light bulbs like Philips Hue that have a remote that can mount on the wall and you can turn the lights on and off with that. So that way you don't need to have the app or know the voice command to turn them on and off. If you connect smart light bulbs to a light switch, it can be a major pain if someone accidentally turns off that light switch. We've had a family rule to not turn off any light switches around the house because you might accidentally turn off a smart bulb. A solution to this is using a light switch guard. This one has magnets on it so it snaps right onto your light switch so that way you don't accidentally turn off the light. And it only costs $5 so I think it's definitely worth it. So I'll put a link to it in the description. Our smart light bulbs have worked very well, but occasionally one will go offline or slow to respond compared with our Z-Wave light switches, which have been very reliable. But you will need a hub like SmartThings or Wink to control those Z-Wave light switches, but I think it's worth it. To control your smart lights with your phone, it's gonna be a lot easier for your average family member to use an app like LifeX or Hue versus SmartThings app to control your smart light switches. So just something to keep in mind. Another thing with smart light switches is that if you have multiple light switches controlling the same light, you'll need a three-way light switch. And the one that we're using is compatible with three-way light switches. 
If you get a dimmable smart light switch, make sure your lights are dimmable as well. And some people are gonna be like, forget about it. I'm gonna swap out my light bulbs for smart light bulbs because it'll be easy, which is totally fine. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more smart home videos and we'll see you again next time. Next time on Smart Home Solver, how the light guard is childproof. Or it's not. <laughs>